Hey, I'm Brian on the phone with Kaya Stort. What's going on? Hi, how are you guys? How's your Warp Tour experience been? It's been great. It's actually our, our first full week at Warp Tour, and I think we've done about eight shows now. We have a show today in Minneapolis, and yeah, I'm super excited to be here. It's a lot of fun. Have you made a bunch of friends on Warp Tour or meet any cool bands that have been hanging out with every night so far you've been on there? Yeah, I mean, we definitely made some friends on the tour. Like, there's a couple bands, like the Tennis and Baby Baby and Carousel King, but some of the bands on our stage, we've gotten to know pretty well. I think the whole um, idea of Warp Tour is that kind of everyone kind of helps out each other. So I, you, I guess you could say we're all kind of friends. Yeah, that's what I hear from everybody I've talked to either this year or in previous years is that it's a, it's a big summer camp at Warp Tour, basically. Right. One thing I noticed about this year's Warp Tour is that there seems to be a lot more bands with uh, women as vocalists, and you being a woman on this uh, tour, what do you think about more women being part of Warp Tour? Uh, I don't think being a woman on Warp Tour makes it any more difficult than it could. I mean, for anyone else, because I think everyone's working just as hard, and I need to being a girl makes it actually, like, I don't think there's an excuse there. But I think it's amazing that there's so many women on Warp Tour now and how, like, it used to be a very, like, male dominant tour, and I think it's really cool because there's a lot more crowd and so many, like, rising out of it. So, yeah. Yeah, I think it, Warp Tour has definitely become a more diverse festival than it has in previous years because, yeah, it was always like the more hardcore punk and now it's, you know, indie, alternative, hip hop, right. whatever. You are the daughter of Dave Stort of the Eurythmics. I saw that's a really cool fact about you. Yeah. Um, what do you think about being his daughter and being an up and coming star now? I mean, uh, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, I've definitely affected me in a new way. I mean, like, you know, I see my dad. I I never really looked at it as an underdog. He also did produce the album. He is my manager, so I think we're in this together, and I think nothing has really changed between us. I see you had just came out with an EP, and you have a single out called "In Love with the Boy." Tell me right. about this. Yeah, I actually I wrote that song when I was in seventh or eighth grade. I was in math class, and uh, I wrote about a boy in my class, and we had this big math final coming up, and I decided I was going to write a song instead. So we ended up, I ended up writing the song in class and then running home and recording it on GarageBand and then putting it on SoundCloud after like professionally going in the studio and recording it. And that song is kind of what started the whole album and me being signed and all those kind of things. And when do you expect to come out with a full debut album? Um, hopefully this sometime this fall. We're thinking around September. So yeah, that's when we're expecting the album to come out. And Warp Tour being ground for uh, many bands and artists in the past, being in that known as a tour to bring out the next breakout star. Do you look at yourself as that, or do you just look at yourself as just, like, another artist? Well, I mean, I think everyone on this tour is trying to be the next breakout work tour star. And I think that, I mean, it's a really difficult tour, and people, all of us are working so hard. But, I mean, I, I've just been working my hardest, and playing shows that I think are the best shows I've played so far. So, I think everyone's trick out, but, I mean, I think that people are saying that I might be. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, you never know who's going to be the next big thing. And I see you've been getting so much press in magazines and as an artist to watch. I mean, it, and your radio air. It's still pretty surreal to me. I can't believe that they're going so well for the album. I'm all the way in Minneapolis, so I have no idea what's going on back in LA. <laughs> it's, it hasn't even, like, hit you yet that all, all this press coverage is just... He, right. Yeah, it, it, it really hasn't affected you yet. It hasn't affected no, but because I think we've just been on the road so much and traveling, and but I think once I get back home to LA, I'll have the time to kind of let that sink in. It's so freaking amazing. And I want to go back to talking about your dad for a second because I'm a person who grew up on 80s and 90s bands and now in 2015 seeing kids of some of the artists from back in the 80s and 90s being up and coming. It's just like, it's hard to believe so much time has gone by, you know? I mean, there's so much that has been a huge influence on me growing up and I think that, um, like I said, nothing has really changed between us comes to uh, like father and daughter today, but I mean, I think it's so cool, like you said, that there's so many like artists, popular, like popular artists and bands who are son coming out with music, and I think that, I mean, I, although my music actually does quite similar to some of the rhythmic music, I feel like that that's a really cool thing, because I'm working with the person who kind of created that sound. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a cool thing to know that, hey, you know, your dad is somebody who was key name back in the 80s and definitely a cool thing. <laughs> what are some, one thing I like to ask people I interview is, what are some, like, random cool facts? Um, I think one of them definitely is that I'm the youngest of 
days that I write all my own songs. I think that's something that uh, like a lot of artists actually don't do now. I mean, which is weird to think about, but um, yeah, I, most artists don't really write their own songs. But um, yeah, that's definitely a cool fact about me. A lot of people were always asking me, like, oh, so who wrote your song? Who did you co-write with? And I'm like, well, I didn't really co-write with anyone. I always just write my songs in my room or just like in my house. And yeah, well, that's I yeah, definitely. I mean, it's uh, it's always good to have someone that can write their own songs and, you know, because then you're not saying, well, this is a, I don't like the lyrics to this song or this and that, because right. you're producing your own material. Anything else you, you want to add in? I'm trying to think. I'm not that interesting. <laughs> I don't have that many cool facts about me. Um, oh, when I, uh, my type, everybody asked me if I wrote my own type, but I've actually had all my types that I wear are the same types I've been wearing for like two or three years, so all those holes in those types. Are real. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm not one that you understand women's clothes and whatnot. It was so funny. I had a girl come up to my merch table and she was like, "Do you rip all your own tights? They look like that." And I was like, "I actually don't. These are just me being super clumsy and ridiculous and making giant holes in my tights." <laughs> and hey, you're young. You know, you have a lot, a long way to go. So I wish you the best of luck. And hey, Thank you, you. you might, you might not think you're an interesting person, but many other people will. Trust me, I've uh, experienced this meeting people along the way. Bands and artists, they'll say, oh yeah, there's really nothing cool about us. Or, and then you hear the fans, and they're like, they're the coolest person ever, coolest band, whatever. <laughs> like you've been saying, you know, it might not hit have hit you yet that you're getting a lot of press and your music's being played and all that. People really do think that you're a much more interesting person than you may think you are. Oh, thank you. Thank you for chatting with me on the phone today. I know uh, it was unfortunate we couldn't speak in person on uh, oh, no. Tuesday. So much for taking your time out. Thank you. Oh, no. Yeah, thank you so much. And I'm, you too, and I'm Brian on the phone with Kaya Stewart.